Hello children, good morning. This is Kameshwari. Children, we are discussing the lesson the air. In that lesson I explained what is the meaning of air, how many gases are there, what are those, which gas occupies major role in that uh, atmosphere and structure of atmosphere stratosphere ionosphere troposphere mesosphere these things i explained in the last videos and some keywords also i explained what are those weather climate temperature these words definitions also i gave in that last video in this video we will continue i will continue the same lesson winds what is the meaning of wind means moving air is called wind moving air is called wind horizontally moving air is called the geographically one term is given in your textbook that is horizontally moving air is called wind okay you can see wind at work as it blows dry leaves drawn permanent or uproots trees during a storm school after completing the school you are ready to go to your houses at the time what happened the high winds high winds are coming how is that at the time how is the weather at the time is uh, it blows the dry leaves are uh, moving in that area and the um, roots trees during in that uh, strong these are all uh, moving one area to another area um, due to winds sometimes when the wind blows gently you can even see it blowing away smoke or fine dust also at the time the wind is mixed with some dust particles also some of the dust okay dust is also mixed in that air at the time the wind is too strong you are also too strong with an umbrella umbrella have you hold it in your hand confidently that umbrella no at the umbrella is also flying in that air it is difficult to walk on the road it is it was very difficult to hold an umbrella with your hand also you you must have experienced it in your life okay so that is called our wind s yes. winds are divided by three types winds are divided by three types what are those three winds i will explain to you listen permanent winds permanent winds means the trade winds westerlies and easterlies are the permanent winds these blow constantly throughout the year in a particular directions these are called the permanent winds these winds they do not change their direction those winds always blowing in one particular direction that's why these winds are called the permanent winds permanent winds or trade winds both are same these directions are westerlies and easterlies westerlies means which side the air is flowing blowing such side such direction those um, you put the name to those winds that direction okay westerlies means west side 
winds easterlies these are the permanent winds these blow constantly throughout the year in a particular direction next seasonal winds next one seasonal winds these winds change their direction in different season based on the seasons the seasonal winds change their directions that's why these winds are called the seasonal winds for example monsoon in india okay monsoons in our india southwest direction the monsoons enter in our india in the southwest direction okay local winds local winds these blow only during a particular periods of the year particular periods of the day or year in a small area these type of winds are called local winds here land of snee breeze cool wind is called breeze okay so those two are land and sea land land winds and sea breeze these are the two winds are given for example local winds okay see here observe this picture carefully children equatorial low pressure belt equatorial low pressure belt means here the temperature is too high that's why all the winds are low pressure here how is the pressure very low that's why all the winds are comes to this area to occupy this area trade winds see here these are the three trade winds the wind is named after the direction from which it blows for example the wind blowing from west so what are the directions of this picture north south east west okay yeah westerlies here these winds are called westerlies these winds are called easterlies okay like that all the winds blowing high pressure area to low pressure area here you see subtropical high pressure area these winds are coming down why here the area is high pressure area the winds blowing from high pressure area to low pressure areas again you see sub polar low pressure area it is the low pressure area so that's why the high pressure area to low pressure area okay the winds are moving um, high pressure area to low pressure area next the winds is named after the direction from which direction it blows which direction the winds are blowing the names came to those winds that is about our um, pressure major pressure belts and wind system that is a major this is the major pressure belts and wind system explained in this diagram okay you see all the winds all are blowing high pressure area to low pressure area that is next one some of the keywords i want to explain now is an moisture what is the meaning of moisture means water vapor in the air is called the moisture water vapor present in the air suppose air is mixture of several gases water vapor is one of the gas mixture in that air here some water vapor is coming so water vapor how much water vapor mixed into the air that is called the moisture how much moisture in the air is called humidity how much moisture is there in the air that is called the humidity next clouds condensed water vapors hanging in the air that is 
those are called the clouds condensed water vapor hanging in the air is called clouds perspiration falling of moisture in the form of rainfall snow fog sleet and hail stones are termed as precipitation precipitation means water reaches our earth in different forms those forms all are called the precipitation how the water falling down through the rainfall snow fog sleet and hailstones these are the different forms of the perspiration now let us discuss the different types of rainfall how is the rainfall occurs on this earth we already we are all know very well about the water cycle through the water cycle when water evaporates from the land and different water bodies what are the water bodies on this earth oceans rivers ponds whatever may be these are all things the water evaporates from land and difficult water different water bodies after it becomes water vapor after it changes into water vapor water vapor mixed into the air that is called the moisture how much moisture is there that is called the humidity when the air full of water vapor that is called the humidity that is called the humid day as the air gets warmer when the air gets warmer its capacity to hold the water vapor increases and it so become more and more humid when in the air humidity is too high at the time it is so uh, humid on the humid day the clothes take longer to dry at the time if you washed your clothes you dried on the carrier it takes lot of time to dry and sweat from our body does not evaporate easily at the time your sweat from your body does not evaporate easily making us feel very uncomfortable at the time you are feeling uncomfortable okay next when the water vapor rises up when the water vapor rises up it starts cooling at the time what happened already i explained you if you are going the top of the mountain the temperature is uh, decreasing if you go up temperature decreasing if you go down the air that the temperature increases so when the water vapor rises it starts cooling the water vapor condenses causing formation of droplets condenses like a droplets of water clouds are just masses of such water droplets the clouds all are filled with this type of droplets water drops when these droplets of water become too heavy to float in the air then the rain will come the rain will come that is called one of the perspiration the water reaches our earth in the different forms those of hail storm fog or um, uh, sleet like that sometimes you have to observe on the sky one white color straight line is appears to us that is jet planes flying in the sky leave a white trail behind them jet planes are flying into the sky at that time you have observed in that sky white straight line the moisture from their engines condenses that 
we see trials of this condensed moisture for some time when there is no air movement to disturb it precipitation that comes down to the earth in a liquid form most of the ground water comes from the rain water rain water is a fresh water of for us okay all the water bodies filled with water in the rainy season so rain is the main source of your water plants help preserve water when trees on hill sides are cut rain water flows down the bare mountains and can cause flooding of low lying areas trees are helpful to us a lot in that rainfall trees play an vital role in the rainfall but what you are doing we are all cutting the trees day by day what happened the rain water flows down from the mountains with that the low areas were submerged okay on the basis of this mechanism there are uh, you should follow some of the um, precautions to protect our trees okay here rain is one rain is the one of the form of perspiration it is the main source of water for us the rainfall is divided into three types what are those three types or uh, the cyclonic rainfall orographic or uh, relief rainfall and uh, conventional rainfall here yeah. these three pictures are given in your textbook but explanation is not given i will explain you listen carefully cyclonic rainfall is caused when the warm and cold air ma masses meet at front as cold as is denser it remains close to the ground while the warm air rises above it as it rises it expands and cools resulting in rainfall that is called the cyclonic rainfall okay next one is relief rainfall or orographic rainfall sometimes the moisture bearing winds are forced to rise because of the presence of physical barrier such as a mountain such winds mountain such winds expand and cool as they rise up the slope of that mountain or plateau and on further cooling form clouds when saturated these clouds give rain this rain is called the relief rain here you see children the clouds the wind is blowing up direction here one big mountain is there this clouds touches the top most point of the mountain then what happen how is the climate here it is too cool when these clouds touch it, the cool areas automatically the, how much water vapor is mixed in in that area that condenses condensed the heavy rain will come down so the, this type of rainfall is called orographic rainfall or relief rainfall okay it is the rain shadow region the back side of the mountain is called rain shadow region here rain does not come which side the winds are blowing in that direction areas receive lot of rainfall the back side of the mountain um, people they do not get any rainfall the next rainfall is conventional rainfall last one 
conventional rainfall. In regions closer to the equator, the rate of the evaporation is very high as the sun heats the ground the air above it gets heated and starts rising in the form of conventional currents as air rises it expands and cools the cooling causes condensation with result in heavy downpour heavy rains are occurs in the equatorial region why equatorial region receives the lot of heat from the sun at the time lot of evaporation is also done in those areas when the lot of uh, evaporation has done automatically that areas receives the lot of rainfall also so this type of rainfall is called conventional rainfall okay children have you understood the different types of rainfall with this i completed this lesson a year we will meet in the next class thank you bye